everybody, uh, welcome to the Lit Ladies Book Club. Uh, today we are discussing episode two of the floor of the Secret Book of Flora Lee. Uh, we are in the halfway point. Uh, my name is Abby. This is Holly. <laughs> Miriam. I'm Emily. All right, someone go. Not you. <laughs> I don't like Harry you. Harry fan club over here. Harry fan club. I missing Harry. She's. I mean, her I, body betrays her. She yeah. wants Harry. They have a I think she always has. Always has. She just won't let herself. I don't know but why, why she's punishing herself. This is the part I don't understand. Why is she so damaged? We like, don't know what <laughs> happened that day. We're still yeah. missing right? pieces. We're so, slowly getting And them. if she was making out with him and her sister got kidnapped, you'd be damaged, right? Yeah. You'd feel no, guilty. I'm talking about when she was 14, a young kid at, at their house. And I understand being away from your parents, your dad died. Okay. But she's like, I'll take care of myself. It was always like, leave me. She kept saying when they were on the blanket, mm. you know, and they're looking up at the stars. And she says, I don't need you to take care of me. He goes, I know you don't. I just like to do it. Yeah, I know. Sweet. I think because the people that take care of her die or leave. Yeah. Right? Like her mom. She probably she left her mom. She had to. Right? Her yeah. dad died. So she just doesn't trust anybody. Yeah. I don't know. But, yes, yeah, she needs to be with Harry big time. Yeah, I hate Barnaby. When Barnaby's parents saw her, (gasps) I was like, oh no. I was like smiling, oh no. (laughs) And she lied. She didn't tell him the truth. She shook it off. She's like, we were just out there talking. That's not true. Come on. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure the moss saw everything. And the dad was like holding her back. Yeah, I imagine. So she's not being fair to Barnaby. Mm -hmm. As much as we may not like Barnaby, poor guy. Like I don't think I have a reason to not like me him. Me either. I don't well, think no, he's, he's fine. He loves bad. her. I think he genuinely loves her. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I hate him. I just don't want her to be with him anymore. Okay. Yeah. That's that's my whole thing. Yeah. And I he's not she's unjustified. She's being sincere to him right. anyway. Oh, she not being fair at all. Yeah, before Harry even came in the picture, she was not sincere. No. Mm-mm. And his actions are justified. Like, if Being your upset. parents were, like, your uh, girlfriend that you're going to your Paris fiance, with. Say, yeah. Almost. Right? Not quite. Has he not heard that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were at least because, Paris. Yeah. Because okay. he's damaged from his last marriage. I forgot about we that. Until about she that. was like, oh, his baby. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot. But, hey, your girl was with this other guy, like, really close to him. Like, about to smooch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But okay. either way, even if. She doesn't end up with Harry. She shouldn't be with Barnaby. No. Oh no! You know but how? Also, let's talk about how his dad uh, made some calls for her to get that job. Oh my gosh! That was a little Several bit. calls. Several. Like they had to. They so, called him when they thought that she stole it, or yeah. it, or she did steal it. But so I think in a normal situation, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Like as a parent, she didn't know. She I didn't ask want, him. Like I would want good things for you, and I would try and put in good words for you. But knowing Barnaby knows her character, she doesn't want anybody taking care of her yeah. or doing anything for her, so much so that she still lives in her childhood home where horrible things happened. You know, she's... So he should have known. I don't know, because to me, he would be wanting her to get the job. Right? So I think he's torn, too. Like, but and who I just knows feel like he, he asked his dad to do that or if his dad just did it? But well, if yeah, because they knew, come from money, but mm-hmm. also, and she's not so much, so maybe they're trying to yeah. raise her up a little bit. I don't know. I feel like if Barnaby knew, he should have told Hazel. I think he knew she would not be okay with yeah, that. Yeah, he, he didn't want, he wanted, I, I think. Didn't want to rock the boat. To me, I think you can think of it two ways. One is he should have told her he knew she would have hated it. The other could be he didn't, he wanted her to feel like she got the job on her own. Well, yeah, yeah. you want Because he knows things. how independent yeah. she is, genuinely, yeah. mm-hmm. right? That's so true. I think you can look at it two ways. Everything would have been and like fine I said, if she didn't steal that book. We don't know <laughs> if his dad just did it. I'll, you know, Barnaby Very may not true. have even said anything. And then what's the point of telling yeah. her? Yeah. So, yeah. Because you're right. He probably didn't have a say in it either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, there's a lot that came out there. She's pissed. There's one. I see him. I feel like a fly. It's fly there's a fly. Like Emily's like... moving her head. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I just, her and Harry, they just have this connection. They always will. And I think they both have punished themselves when they need to grieve together. I know. And That's he said that, too. Said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Because he said, I, I've been here before, on this bench, in this park. I didn't get to that part. Yeah. Yeah, he came He her. waits. So she was with did a you get guy. to the part where he, she went to see him, to ask him, 
do you know what Whisper Wood is? Yeah. And okay. then I got you to the part she, where gallery. she's at the art gallery. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He shows up at her house or in the park across from her house. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you know, what are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. And they get talking. Well, this is my first time being here. I've been here before. Mm-hmm. So, and he said that he had seen her. She was with some guy <laughs> and she looked happy. It was after so he, he wrote left. her the last letter. It was a year. Because remember, she, after didn't she didn't respond to his last letter. And it would have been perfect. She would have left that guy. And that's what she said. Why she said she doesn't even remember his name. Uh, it was Sam so Joe. So sad. Mm. Yeah. Harry Finkel. Harry. Yeah, big Finkler. time. Okay, so suspicious people, though. Okay, I think it's interesting. Peggy and Ren are coming to America, are coming to England. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty cool. She's I think. just dropping everything and... She wants to know. I think should. She, I think she she's suspicious. It. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think she couldn't shake it, and there was a reason why she couldn't shake it. Yeah. And then she yeah, asked her sure. mom, "Did you read that part? Mm-hmm. Where do these really come from?" Yeah, and, she, and her mom's she was like, like, "Why does it matter?" Yeah. Her at mom this point, answer. at this point, I'm thinking, her mom, Peggy's mom, had her baby stolen, and so she came across Flora in the woods or wherever, and just took her. Mm. Okay, and so somehow eventually made it to America. She keeps talking about her sister. And at first I thought Peg, Peggy's mom said, so Peggy's aunt is not real. She's made up. Because Ooh. she's passed. Oh. They yeah. keep talking about she's passed already. Well, then when um, Hazel was talking to the police officer in England, there were four nurses. One of them has passed the away. The American mm-hmm. one. So I'm thinking, first I was thinking, okay, well, the American one was obviously Frances. She's a nutball is what I'm thinking. And she faked her death. But then I was thinking that quite possibly might be Peggy's aunt. Yeah. She really did take the child. Come over here. She passed. And I don't know. There's something. Oh. I don't think Peggy's well, mom that, was the nurse. I don't. But you think anymore. that. I think Frances nurse, is her sister, yes. You think that the nurse was the sister of Peggy's yes, mom? Yes, that's my theory right Wasn't now. there one nurse that that Hazel made a comment? She was playing or looking or something at Flora mm-hmm. like it was her own child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's who she went to go see what you haven't read yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But have you, I mean, think about it. If your sister came to you with a child that's not hers, would you just accept it? But what if they're both just crazy? What if her sister yeah. lied to her and said, said yeah. what? And said, um, there's no I tra- I and said, off. I tried to save this girl's parents, but they died in front of me, and now I'm t- I've taken okay. care True, but like she's okay. the, the okay. whole thing is right. pretty suspicious sense. because Four. Peggy's mom, the dad is passed, the sister's passed, and the only pictures that Peggy has of her dad is when it was her mom, the dad, and a baby. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, and that she's like, they're. Yeah, well, of course she's not going to remember herself as an infant. So she has no memory of her dad. I think she remembers her aunt, though. Right? I don't think so. I think well, her aunt also, just passed recently. I am also starting to think Peggy is Flora because we got to a point where mm. Hazel is like, I've gone too far with these stories, and Flora does not know what is real and what's yes, not. Yes, that mm-hmm. was because definitely she was looking at all the soldiers, out. and she's like, well, Dad is over there. What if he's over yeah. there? You need to go look. That was sad. That I was, was really sad. So, was so sad. sad. I think I had to like I had to reread I, it a couple times. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god. But it also makes because there were a couple things said about the river. Flora was obsessed with the river. Yeah, she was. And she wanted to get across the river to get her dad. So I feel like and something. And then Harry left her by the. River. And then Harry left her by the river. Yeah. But there was something Harry else they said like. We can't go into the river in Whisperwood, but Flora wanted to. Remember, Flora was like, from the, time, we go in the, river, river. From the time that she had yes. gotten there, mm-hmm. Hazel was reminding her, don't go. Don't. Yeah. She was very, at, no, 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 no. And Harry's like, it's fine. Just don't go in. We can get close, but don't go in. And she's like, no, 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 no. It's, you know, never go there. Hmm. Also, I've been doing really good not thinking Harry, Harry Styles, until they started talking about Dunkirk, and I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, I knew yeah. yeah. when, when I read Dunkirk, I, read I was like, you're going to think of it. And then I was thinking, was well, Tolkien just picture him professor? that way. It's fine. It's fine. Curly hair, it's fine. Was that yeah. a real thing? Was Tolkien actually a professor? J.R.R. Yeah. Tolkien? Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. know that. I, I yeah, she keeps outside. putting like, oh. some like real things in there, mm-hmm. so it's making it, that's why I want to look up that case and find out what were the parents' names. We need to know. I feel like there might be a fake the tie. 
Yeah. Why not? Why else mention that? Have you asked about Charles Lindbergh? No, but I'm wondering about the women. Is Um, there a name? You know what I mean? Because it's obviously the connection is fake. She's using the story as a... Right. You know, but there might be something. If we dig, we might find something. My theory is that the dead American nurse faked her death. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I she think that's the sister. Yeah, yes, but she I totally. but she's not actually dead. She's just oh. being small. Oh, got it. But I know that's a little far fetched. Why would she I did think that at first. Because I she did stole think the baby. that at first, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because she, she stole Flora. Flora. Because she would have found Flora or just taken her. Well, no, Flora was out in the woods. Yeah. And, but she would have known. See, because a stranger coming across this child in the woods wouldn't know, but she knew Flora. Yeah. She already had a connection with Flora, which gives her motive to kidnap Flora. And you well, think she her. was trying to save Flora from being kidnapped and got murdered. Well, think about this. So the nurses... <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> she loved Flora. <laughs> At least two of the nurses are against Birdie. I'm not saying her name right, but I'm just going to call her. No, I say Birdie. So they're against her. I they're like, she's Brady. a pagan. Yep. She's telling them bad things. So two of those nurses, at least, probably would be happy to pull Flora away. That's true. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you guys always think the worst. Like, she kidnapped her and baked her yeah. death. But what if she was actually trying to protect her? Too? Brady is a There's pagan. There's two sides. Knowledge. But if she kidnaps she a child, it's still kidnapping. No. What if Francis tried to rescue Flora from being kidnapped? And got killed. That would have been well. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're saying okay. Well, then that's not year. Supposedly. Um. Also, I thought it was very. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. I liked everything with Kelty. Yeah. I love Kelty. Uh, Especially when I realized who she was and how mm-hmm. Bridie was like really fighting. Like she was telling yeah. this police officer, like this girl, stay with me. Yeah. Well, I really that liked was that. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I but really I understand Kelty. the police officer was like. My hands are tied. Yeah. yeah you do I wasn't yeah. sure Hazel was going to let her run away, but she did. But, man, they didn't. Home. It's crazy to me that they're still friends because she didn't know Kelsey that long. Kelsey's mm. split. Yeah, but well, she Kelsey killed Kelsey told her. She was she like, well, you're my best her, friend though. forever now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She said and that was very, very cute. Every week. Very it was cute. very cute. I love them. Their, their friendship is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, really also, I'm Kelsey. sure, like, imagine what they were going through. So even though they were... Because Kelty said she knew Harry for a week, which means she kind of only knew Flora and Hazel for a week. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, but a week when you're going through such a traumatic time. Like, not only was Kelty away from her mother, but she was with a horrible hag of a person, as they described her. And so, you know, she's obviously going to deeply connect with the only people who are bringing her joy at that point. Mm -hmm. Trauma bond. Yeah. (laughs) Which is kind of what happened to Hazel and Harry, too. Yeah, that's true. Because... His dad had died, and you know. Mm-hmm. Well, his dad didn't die. His dad didn't yeah. die. Not die, but disappeared. Yeah. But just, he thinks that he's dead. I'm not connecting with Hazel, Mm-mm. and I don't know why. Yeah. It's, it's frustrating me. Like, you want to? I want to have all this empathy for I her, like and I want, but I, I just can't. Understand can't her. Like, I can't. I mean, her. all the paper says she has. Of course, she's damaged them all. But why are you acting like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I just. I have a hard time uh, connecting with her. That's okay. why I've not parts, experienced her hurt. You know? All the no. parts I'm loving, like I'm loving Bridie and Hazel, or not Hazel, Harry and Flora and Kelty, like everybody else. But then I'm when it's in Hazel's head, I'm just not. Like, I think she's like for me, she's kind of unstable, in a lot of ways. Like she just she's very high, she's very low. She's never like just flat she's either like depressed because oh my gosh my sister's dead and it's my fault or she's like i'm gonna go find my sister in america i'm going right don't tell me she's dead right she won't let barnaby say it yeah yeah it's kind of weird you know she needs therapy yeah Yeah, of course yeah not all those kids but not from theo (laughs) not from theo not from theo theo talk flora I will say this, Barnaby thinks... Okay, I was like... Barnaby seems to think that... He does. I find it funny. Right? I find it funny that Barnaby seems to think sex solves all. Oh my gosh, it's so stupid. I hate it. (laughs) I think they're both... Both of them don't want to deal. Both of them. They don't. And they're good at that. She's not dealing with whatever's going on in her heart and in her mind. And then when that thing happens with her sister, she just goes, blah. And then he doesn't want to deal. He knows... That his soon to be fiance is not dealing. She's just yeah. getting through life. She's not yeah. dealing, mm-hmm. you know. And so on some 
he's not dealing too, you know. And I feel like he's kind of rude about it sometimes. Like, I see, but I think what did he say to her? That's because he hasn't dealt with. What did they say to her? He was like, "You're never gonna let this go, are you?" Yeah. Like her sister is like, "What? What do you mean?" He's in on it. (laughs) (laughs) He knows. His mom was. You never know. You shouldn't have told me twist. Said one time, and I'm mm-hmm. thinking all these. I'm sorry if it if the cover had to ruin it for me. I asked ruin it for all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the twist. I'm like, mm. if you're an author listening to this and you put in your book description that there's a twist at the end, I hate you. Okay, but there better be a twist though. Like it better be. A good Imagine twist. the twist is that there's not a twist. That's stupid. <laughs> the twist is Flora, not not Flora. Um, Hazel and Harry pushed her into the river. Mm-mm. The twist is that her name is Flora was Hazel never real. Now. Is her name Hazel? I've said it so many I've times thought it about doesn't that. feel real now. Yeah. Her name is Hazel. Okay. Yeah. Don't I've kind of thought about that. That's because she's so... She has such a vivid imagination. I'm like, what if Flora wasn't real? Stop, that might be it. No, <gasps> because Harry would have... Harry, they all he, knew yeah, her. That's true, that's but true. we're Come seeing on, not her. everyone would like yeah, her. Yeah, we're seeing are. it through Hazel's eyes. She so what if this whole time Hazel has been like... In a thing, they're like, "Oh yeah, Hazel talking about Flora." I don't know. I thought it, I think it's I think it's crazy far fetched. I just crossed my I mind. I kind of would point. love that. <laughs> I kind of would love that. I kind of would too. Hmm. No, I don't think that's gonna happen. No, probably I did not, think but... about like, what if Flora's only a whisper? <laughs> that's it. <gasps> and that's what why everybody's twist. so like. Oh no! I kind of like those kind of things where it's just like what. So. But I like how. The people, so Barnaby didn't know Flora, and he's kind of like over it, right? But Kelty and Harry, they're like into it. They're willing to go and search with her because they knew Flora, which means Flora was a special kid who really touched people's hearts. And who was it? Ethan, who cried when they couldn't find her? Yeah, the, even though he, he had was a big them. rat, yeah. It's really interesting. I like Flora so much as a character, even though she's only, what, five? Yeah, she's I cute. just, you know. But don't you also think, like, I think there's a couple of things there. One of them is that Barnaby didn't know her. Barnaby wasn't one of those kids. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they all have true. a bond. Like, yeah. Flora was one of them. Yeah. And in this horrible, horrific situation where they're yeah. losing their parents, she was lost. So I think that explains some of that. I also think, I disagree a little bit about Barnaby. I think I read it as he has grieved his child. Mm-hmm. And he needs her to do the same. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's true. No, but I, I so I when you say he's well. rude about it, to me it's coming from a place of I know what you're doing. Yeah. You need you have to get you over it. Deal. And it comes out in frustration. It comes out the wrong way. But I that's how I've been like I, I guess I kinda empathize with Barnaby more than Hazel. Because yeah. right. I feel like she, you know, I wonder he if needs this has her been to be an realistic. Ongoing thing yeah. Yeah. that she's dealing with that he has seen and now this because you know, he probably so went through that too, right? You're gonna deny, and you're gonna, you know, this didn't happen, and I can't accept this, and so to me, I feel like maybe he has done the grieving, yeah, mm-hmm. and he needs well, her to do it. Well, and I think too for the state or the government, they're not even searching anymore. They have Mm-mm. found a body that they have said, yes, we have reason to believe, a strong reason to believe that this is her. We're not looking anymore. Yeah. But both the mom, and I can understand that probably as, you know, a close up one, you won't accept it. No, you probably have to see. Yeah. Right? You have to but see. But they refused to go see, though. But it, they did, you're right. They did, they, they refused to go see. You're right, they did. That doesn't make sense. They actually. couldn't really identify, they didn't have identifier. Yeah, it was just bones, right? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't. So it wouldn't even matter if they went to no. go see her. But also, I think it would it for click. closure anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. That makes me feel for Barnaby. Because he's, in a way, uh, if you think of it that way, he's good for her. I he think so. He needs her to think realistically and her she, not to all be. Not but he's going about end. it the wrong way, which is what sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think to be like, you're ways. never gonna get over. You're never gonna let this go, are you? That's not the way. To yeah, talk he could go softer. Like, and if you know, as somebody who's been through sex. that grief, he should know that's not what she needs to hear to get to that point. You know. Well, yeah. maybe that's just how somebody treated him. And that's about yeah. the only way he knows how to It's a little far-fetched, it. though. It kind of seems like fairy tale. Yeah. There's this book. And yes, it's my yeah, story. It's only me and my... T- and he's like, that's crazy talk. Yeah. I think that's... And she I think stole that's it. How, yeah. She stole it. Yeah, she's that's not like her. She's you know, acting so crazy. Think, yeah. yeah. He doesn't know what to do. I think I'll, insane. I think I'll honestly be pretty unhappy if Flora is alive. 
You really? said this you're last not, week. I you're think, not hoping that it's Peggy? I think... I don't know. I think the my ideal ending is Peggy's going to come answer these questions. Like Ren was saying. And it's not going to be. Like, huh? what's the harm in answering her questions? Yeah. And it's just going to be a coincidence. And that's going to be the closure she needs to just... Yeah. Grieve and move on. I don't she know. I crazy. think it's too much to be a coincidence because they never told the stories to anyone, right? So how did the story get out if it's not if she's not involved in some way? It's but also think about when they were sitting in the log for who knows how long. Would they and and Kelty was yelling for them? Nobody could find them. If somebody was not yelling for them, if somebody had walked past, or if somebody had stood there, That's would they have true. known? And that could have been the nurses. Yeah. Would they have known that somebody was there if they did not even realize how much time had passed and everybody had been looking for them? Yeah. Well, and probably Flora had spent more time than Hazel realizes with the nurses because they really, you know, they and Flora really wanted to tell everybody too. about it. Yeah, and then Hazel's like, she's, she's, sure. she's five, yeah. Mm-hmm. She brought it up every chance. She couldn't. She yeah. She's like, we have an owl. Yeah. <laughs> we have this, you know. Like a normal five-year-old, yeah. So she probably did Especially share it with the nurses. Especially when you say, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so she probably did share it with the nurses. I think so. So then your theory of the nurse. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we'll find out in the next couple pages, because she's, they're at her house. Or they're, they're at the Imogene's daughter's house, and Imogene is coming down the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to be so happy to see you. I have not been pronouncing her name. I've just been skipping over her name. Mm -hmm. I might not be saying it. Not saying it. Imogene, that's that's how I would say it. Mm -hmm. So, Peggy's mom says, your aunt and I made up these stories for you. Yes. Mm. Oh, my God. So, if it is a nurse and she brought food, I don't know. And then she has no idea that if, if it's Holly's theory... And she has no clue that Flora is a lost child. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It'll be interesting. Are we finishing the rest? Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I'm actually excited to see how it wraps up. I think I was in a grumpy mood last time, and I don't know. I don't know why I was hating on it. It's a, it was hard it's to a, start. It is. It continues to be slow read. Yeah. I'm struggling a little bit. I think we've read some pretty fantastic stories <laughs> that have been really highs and really lows and kind of on or the really edge, deep. especially the last one is, uh, last couple ones, really deep and on the edge of your seat and like profound things, yeah. you know and then this one is just one person's story yeah. I mean really it's just Maybe a day in the life so almost Nothing the last book coming off of like my favorite the firekeeper's daughter it was that one is my book. favorite yeah. book not just in book club i think my favorite book i've ever read i love that so and good. so coming from that into this one maybe that's it's why hard. i'm struggling yeah. so hard yeah it's yeah. that reader's high you just love that mm-hmm. book so much and that thing's I, just, gonna I was so it. sad when it ended like i just didn't want it to and then what did I buy at Barnes & Noble? I bought the other one. That's uh, it's on, I was just saying, it's on my wish list. It's the top one. <laughs> yeah, I bought it. So it'll be interesting. I don't know. I'm excited to see. I think a lot of things are going to happen. Just one right after another. Mm-hmm. But I think possibly, I think the more we talk about it, the more I think that maybe they did find her already. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's dead. I mean, that's the realistic that she just died, right? I don't know. For me, I feel like maybe I'll be disappointed if... I don't know, if Flora's alive and then it's all happily ever after. At the yeah, end. like they ride no, off right the yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That would be rough rocky. for me because I feel yeah. like that's not realistic either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I mean, think of the ramifications yeah. if Peggy is Flora. Well, if, what that does yeah. to Peggy, what that does to Hazel, and then what that does and to them. They're yeah. not sisters. In, you know, no. they're in. And what that does to their mom. Right. So, yeah, I just feel like if it's all happy, go lucky, let's go to Whisperwood. I'm that gonna, might be why they're <laughs> making across the room. her relationship <laughs> with her mom so terrible, though, too. Set up for that, because then it'll be easier for her just to leave and have her new life with her sister. Peggy's mom, her and her mom don't have a good relationship. That's true. They've kind of no, it'd be really good for Peggy made sure they showed that. You're you know? right. It, oh. Either way, it's good for Peggy to get away yeah. with Ren. And I don't know that Peggy will be okay no. without her mom. She's pretty oblivious and sheltered. and Yeah, I don't know. She's been That's the way it though. seems. Really um, I want everyone's opinion on... Because uh, I didn't know how to feel about it. And I'm... Mm. I'm not even a mom, and 
much less a mother who's lost a child and then had another child. How did you, I didn't know how to feel about how uh, Hazel's mom said she would give up Tenny to have Flora have never gone missing, mm. right? Yeah, she did say that. Because Hazel was like, would you even give up? That's his name, right, Tenny? Tenny. First time. And she said, yes, I would. Mm. That's that's very messed up. That's hard for me. Uh, yeah. I don't, I can't. I don't. I won't comment on it because I just don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't it's remember tough. reading that part, so. I mean, I remember the the meeting and then the party. And not, from what I read, from what I understood, I, you know, I feel for the mom, but I also can see where she was a young mother and, yes, she should move on. And I don't think that's doing a disservice to Flora Mm-mm. by saying that, you know, I don't want to be sad anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think her mom does. But she has her, pictures so. all over the house of both girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, sure. you know. I was very sad when I realized the reason Flora stays in that apartment is so that, or sorry, Hazel. the reason Hazel can stay in that, stays in that apartment is so if Flora was alive, she could find them. Yeah. See, that's not healthy to me. No, it's not. No, and that's, that's why I said I think she's like, just I yeah. another mm-hmm. place in her mind. I don't think mm-hmm. she's in the real world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If she doesn't get end up being the job at so- Sotheby's, Sotheby's, well, she's will she get her old job she, back? I'm no, pretty sure she's blacklisted. So. Yeah, and well, then, she and should be. Maybe. Yes, honestly. And then yeah, she's going to have to pay for those things. Yeah. Barnaby offered to pay for them. He did. I would have let her. Up. Let her. Let, I mean, let him. Yeah. Let him pay. I know. He might not be so willing anymore, mm-hmm. though. That's true. Mm-mm. But I think he's always known that she's loved him. Because the way he's yeah, asking. Right. He knows who Harry is. Yep. Mm-hmm. He already knows who he is. Yep. I agree. I cannot believe she was writing him for three years. Yeah, and he found Barnaby found the letters. That's got to be hard. Well, he shouldn't have went through her stuff. He said she left it out. I would have went through it too. I you would have. I straight yeah, went through it, and I wouldn't have felt bad about it neither. He shouldn't <laughs> have. She kept them, and she mm-hmm. saved them, and then they were all over the place. Mm-hmm. She's being a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, she is. She needs help. Psychotic break. A little bit. With everything she's been through, kind of. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't makes think sense. she'll ultimately feel better if she does find Flora. Yeah. I mean, how horrible will she feel then? It's like, yep. You know, I think no matter what, she's just, ugh. Yeah. It's really sad. The whole thing is just really, really, really sad. That's why I feel like the easier ending for Hazel and everyone else is if Flora has been dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it. Flora wanted to be the river. She died in the river. But I, don't that, I don't think that she went in the river, though, because Teddy didn't go to. I think also, she would Teddy have would have been with her. She always had that dang that's, thing that's in her That's my hand. only thing. Yeah. She would but have taken she, Teddy with her. Didn't she set the teddy bear down? Before? In the first couple like the years, years, I don't times, remember. Yeah, there were times where she would set him down. But your theory about the nurse going to America and being the aunt could still be, mm-hmm. like, it still could be real, but Peggy could just be Peggy and not Flora. Mm-hmm. Flora could have told the stories to the nurse, and the nurse brought them home Very to true. her niece. Very true. Oh. Which would explain what if how Flora it was going is the uh, the reporter? Oh. I've said that. I last, about that I too. said that last meeting too. Because th- the reporter, they're not letting it go. The, yeah, she keeps it's coming up. Yeah. I think there's some. There and then the police officer has brought there. it up. Yep. Um, Barnaby's brought it up. Oh. He, he pulled something out of the garbage and set it on the counter Told so she would talk look at it her. again. They want her to talk to her. She won't talk to the reporter. Because she calls her the river child. But how old is she? The Who reporter. I don't know yet. I don't think they've said. Is there a possibility that Flora doesn't know who she is? Right? Like Peggy? So yeah, the reporter yeah, true, could be Flora and she's trying to figure out who she is. I feel like we need to read it tonight and find out. <laughs> just that part we read the wrap up stuff later <laughs> but they, like she's they, going through the lives of all these kids yes, trying to figure see out if which one, one, one she is her. Oh, yeah wow that's Ooh, that, that that's would a be twist. a twist <laughs> that's, yeah that's what I was thinking. all right we don't even have to read it we decided <laughs> we decided that's why we're our own ending <laughs> But still, how we get a call from Patty Henry. <laughs> Guys, you can't do this. <laughs> you can't tell everyone that's how we're ending. 
But that would be a good twist. I would be. Yeah. Definitely. We went to the library and we were looking for westerns, just so you know. We did look. We didn't find any. <laughs> I can't get past the pictures on them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just read a western in my book club with my brother and I didn't love it. Yeah. yeah. It didn't right? have a great yeah. picture on the front. It did. A man yes. on a cowboy on a horse. Oh, yeah, I was wasn't looking, looking at those kind of western books then. <laughs> Were you looking at the romance ones? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Were they like leaning up against the wall with their, hat, their abs around? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and she's got her prairie bonnet. <laughs> I said, come on, let's go. Let's go over. We can't be over here. And it's at the library where it's all opened up and everybody can see you looking over there. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> I have to go hide in the mystery aisles to find something. Yeah, I'm excited for the wrap up of this. Yeah, her right. She's a good writer. I like the writing. Mm-hmm. I just don't like be. how she wrote Hazel. Yeah, I'm struggling with Hazel a little bit. Well, I don't hopefully, know. something will happen that we can connect to her. Somehow. Yeah, maybe that'll come. Yeah, you know, full circle. Yeah. I I kind of like her writing. I like the way she describes things. I just don't like the way the pace of the story or the way that the characters, some characters, like are like Hazel. Mm-hmm. I don't like her. So I can't say that I like the writing altogether. I have to say, I do enjoy, I enjoy hating characters sometimes. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I don't hate her, though. No, no I'm just and kind I of don't, indifferent. I don't indifferent. I don't connect to her. Yep. I feel indifferent toward her. Yeah, yeah. Me I too. would much rather... Like Nesta. I hate Nesta. Yeah, I don't... I really... She just... Uh. But this, I just feel indifferent. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. care about her. I care about And Donna's, I felt like... Mm-hmm. Kind of praised oh, yeah. her a little bit. I'm like, you can be our queen. It's fine. I love it's fine. Donna, you can be so. our queen. We'll do what you say. Yep. Yep. And I'm thinking Perry's going to be a similar character. Oh, Probably. yeah. She, her mom is... Yeah. Teddy. Teddy. Yep. So. Or she becomes the meth queen. And that's what the story is No! About. She cannot become the meth queen. <laughs> that's shut down. Yeah. No more meth. I should clip that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna be like, what? And then on the Instagram, hashtag Meth Queen. What is this book? What? What are these girls reading? (laughs) This is your book, hashtag Meth Queen. I don't know. Well, we all got a theory. Yeah. So we'll I know. See if any of us are even close, yeah. right? I feel like we're all probably off base. Oh, totally. I hope so. What? No. That would be the best. <laughs> He's like, I'm right. <laughs> no, I don't story. know. Oh, I think it might be one. I don't think we're going to get a happy ending. Though. Yeah. I like our last book. Dang it. The heck? Maybe we do need a love well, story. No and not ending. a mystery. A murder mystery. Because um, I think we need a happy ending. I would like one. My last three books. No happy ending. Mm-hmm. Except for um, our love hypothesis. You want a gooey ending. I do. <laughs> she wants a soft I do. happy That's ending. Fine. <laughs> she might end up with Harry, though. That'll be good. She better. She better end up with Harry or with nobody. I think she needs, I think she needs to be by herself. But she has herself. been. She I has think, been by herself. I, I think, think she needs, had she of needs therapy and herself. Yeah. She needs well, therapy maybe, and Harry. <laughs> yeah, Joe, maybe Harry I, can be her therapy. They can do right. therapy together. <laughs> therapy. <laughs> oh no! I don't like that word. <laughs> <laughs> Emily tonight's gonna be looking up fan art. <laughs> Do you picture Hazel and as anyone? I haven't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't picture her. That's I why can't. I feel like I'm She's, having a hard time. I can picture Harry. I can Isn't picture her. Like normal, like brown hair. Normal. <laughs> I think she's really. She's one of those that she is really pretty, but she doesn't believe anybody or doesn't see it oh, and wow. can't accept it. But multiple people have said she's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm trying to think of how I picture yeah, her. Yeah, I don't. I really almost see this. everything in like. 
Because no one's just right. her when she's yeah. talking about herself. Yeah. It's almost like first person. I kind of see that mm-hmm. too. Like when it says Flora comes and hugs her. Well, first of all, that happens to me all day, every day. Kids are hugging me like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I can see it. I mm-hmm. feel it. Like I know. But I don't connect with her like that. I just see everything. Mm-hmm. But then when I... Like I'm trying to think of when I pictured the most recent scene I read where Flora like flung up so fast and her chin was bleeding like... It's a face, but there's not a face. Yeah. You know, like when I'm picturing it in my head. Yeah, it's like a generic, kind of like, not really there. Yeah, Brown I hair, so. but... I think that's my issue, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe mine, too. Mm-hmm. I liked that scene when she had bugged her. I it was well, I didn't finish it, so the nurses were just like, look to me like you were trying to get some sugar over an innocent girl's I, head. I hated that. That was the last thing I, I read. Bob. That was the last thing I read. And I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a cute uh, childhood story anyway the two of them I think it was a very cute very sweet besides the and fact innocent. that they had to leave their home yeah no I met the part uh, her being <laughs> meeting Harry yeah. and that whole thing it was very Hazel you know, and Harry Hazel and Harry kind of don't like that pairing together Harry and Hazel I just feel like it's too many ages they wouldn't have to have like a combined name it wouldn't be like Benifer. It would just be Hazel. Mm. Oh, or yeah. just Harry. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to call the couple now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Harry or Hazel? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Are you going to end it? I don't, know, I don't know how to end it. I don't remember what you said last time. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sorry. I flopped. I That's wasn't okay. ready. That's okay. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, we will see you next Saturday with the ending of the book. Um, I am Abby. Excited. I'm Holly. I'm Miriam. I'm Emily. And we will see you next Saturday. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. If you made it to the end, we love and appreciate you. Check us out on Instagram for podcast updates and more content. We are also on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts as well. Again, thank you so much for listening. Uh, Please give us a like and a follow, and see you next Saturday.